Singularity University is an organization that helps leaders and organizations to be able to prepare for the future better. Uh, we do that by teaching them about exponential technologies, teaching them about disruption and innovation, and how they can use exponential technologies to solve the world's biggest problems to make the world a better place. Esta é a segunda edição do Singularity o Brasil Summit. Estamos muito felizes de termos colocado o Brasil no centro das discussões. Debatemos os principais desafios que o Brasil tem que podem ser solucionados por meio da tecnologia. So this week we're launching Singularity U Brazil, working with HSM and Anima. Um, we're creating a campus in 2020 that will be here in Sao Paulo. We used to live in a world where we made average product for average consumers and average households, and that's the world we lived in. And we see this world bifurcating, and we see this world basically splitting into a world where we make now special products for special consumers in individual households and we've got these tiny little companies which are now successful and can be successful in this new world. Right now we have a suite of technologies that we could be using to fight mosquito-borne diseases. So Japanese encephalitis, dengue, Zika, malaria. We have a whole bunch of gene editing tools and some other really cool biology-based tools that we could be using in order to fight that. The world is governed by technology, and technology doesn't change in a linear fashion. It changes exponentially. So we're always caught off guard. We never see the future coming, or we never think it's going to happen as fast as it does. And I think the most important thing that we need is to adopt, to deploy exponential lenses. Because people don't realize that they don't see the world as it is. They see the world as they are. So I think learning to see the world exponentially, just like learning a different language, gives you a different set of lenses through which to see the world. So yeah, what I said was this, this idea that each of us is walking around carrying or holding in our pocket, um, effectively a, a supercomputer at a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of the price. More computing power right now in your hand than NASA had collectively when they coordinated a moon landing in the 1960s. I'm not the first one to come up with that or to notice it, but I think it's important because it suggests to me that each of us probably has more power and potential than we tend to realize. Let's touch a billion lives, man. It's now or never. If not now, when? If not you, who?